Hello everybody, this is Kalzek and welcome to episode 1 of my brand new series Mario Kart Wii Custom Road to 9999. In this series I will be playing custom tracks online, World Wide Races, to try and get to 9999 online points. Much like my normal version online series, just this one, only custom tracks. So we're starting off on Bowser Jr's Fort, which is actually good for me because when I was testing the maps to see if they were working, this is one of the first. This is the first one I tried. So it was this one and DS Luigi Mansion, the other course that I tried when I was testing them. So those two, I know the layout. And of course, all the retro tracks I'll pretty much know. But the other custom tracks I'll probably be useless at the first time I play them. So we're starting off here. Bit Bowser Jr.'s Fort, and this is a, a weird course. Well, it's, it's not to this bit. It's weird. You come up the hill and then just drop down a big massive hole into a cannon, which is just crazy. And then the Saturn over there as well. And this guy, uh, Luke, I think his name once having a bit of trouble. Any anyway, one of a person to start off this uh, custom rose at 9999, which is a little bit worse than the the, the normal rose 999, where there was four people in the first episode, including, of course, the legendary Zav. But I don't think Luke's going to be a new Zav. That's definitely not going to happen. He's not the custom rose at 9999 Zav, Luke. So he's looking at how far we're behind he is. This isn't that hard of a course. I didn't do too bad on the first time I played this when I was testing it. So, got those bouncy bits there. They, they caught me out the first time, but I wasn't going to fall for that one again. And we're just coming back up to the half pipe section. And Luke is having a bit of a nightmare. That was a bit of lag, though, on, on the map. He was sort of floating off the map, but that was obviously a bit of lag or something. So, we just come over at the half pipes and put the banana skin down. So, there's a, a lot of tracks to get through in this. There's 128 custom tracks. So, more than likely, it'll be a different track every race for quite a while until we start getting repeats. So, got to get used to them. And hopefully they're not too hard. And you see I'm using the Bowser bike. That's because a lot of custom tracks have very long straights. And if you're not using a bike, you're going to get absolutely destroyed down the straight. So I'll be practicing with the Bowser bike using the GameCube controller to give me just... just so I'm not at a huge disadvantage when the good people come in. Of course, Luke isn't that great, but you can't blame him. We'll, we're probably going to be lapping in a minute. And there he is. He's got a thundercloud as well, so he's not having a good time, Luke, there. Throw that green shot forward. Onto the final lap here on Bowser Jr.'s fort. Quite a long level. It's not too bad, actually. I don't mind this uh, course. So hopefully more custom tracks are like this. And there is Luke. Hello, Luke. And he's small there with the thundercloud. I just go flying past him. And he's had a bit of a nightmare. That he's It's 2 minutes 20. He's only on lap 2. That is a disaster, Luke. You've got to pick it up. You're never going to compete at the highest level if you can't do a simple track like this as we come back then to the star cannon away there we go and we're flying through the air lovely stars and this is a bit of an easy race not much to say but it's okay I don't mind starting off uh, an with an easy race I've got about 5,500 points what I'm starting off with so a lot less than when I started my actual road to 999 which is about 7,000 something so a long way to go but hopefully if more people fill up the rooms it won't take too long to get to that 999 but it probably will because there'll be lots of ups and downs and I'm sure I'll be screwed over by lots of items in the coming episodes. And here we go. Round the last corner. Absolutely lovely start on this road to 999. Custom road to 999, shall I say. And here we go. First place. Luke didn't stand a chance. We won't get a lot of points. 11 points. We're up to 5, 5, 4, 0. Absolutely lovely. Luke didn't do very well there. We'll move on to the next one. See how many people are in it first. There will be four people. Here we go. Okay, here we go. It is the second race of this episode one. Of Mario Kart Wii Custom Road to 9999. Now we're on Tree Circuit. So, uh, Shaka haven't tried yet. And this is what I took. Look at this. This is what I took about the long straights. That's why you need the bike. Look at that. That is ridiculous. And we got four people in this one. Two people, which I know. Uh, Mr. Matt. There he is. Just give me a little bump. Thank you for that. Matt just announced himself there as I called his name. And the other person is Owen. I'm sure we'll see him. Oh, there he, there he is. Can, can they hear me? What the heck? I've, I said both their names. And they both bumped me at the exact time, so in third place we've got Luke there as well. Hopefully he does a little bit better than last time on Bowser Jr. 4. He had a bit of a disaster. So uh, let's have a look at this course. It's sort of a figure eight course and we've got a golden mushroom there. There's a lot of grass as well. Oh, and the blue shell just hit uh, somebody there in the lead. I'm not sure who it hit, but that's good for me. And I go flying forward now with the golden mushroom and around this course. And very long sort of playing course. There's a random chain chomp over there. It's not going to hit anybody, surely. That won't hit anybody completely off the course. And um, there we go. And this is the long, look at these long straights. I told you the custom tracks had long straights and this one is ridiculous. That's, that's like a 30 second straight, isn't it? That's absolutely crazy. And Luke has got no chance down there and just avoided that oil stick there. Look at that reaction. Saw that just at the last second. And we're coming around this corner. Just very, very plain, very simple course to follow up from Bowser Jr.'s fort. And there's a blue shout. Just to ruin me a little bit there. Thank you, blue shout. 
I'm going to just get a little uh, boost there. There's green shouts coming flying past me there. Somehow they miss me. Uh, just because some tracks not have random... Uh, just, I mean, the green shout magnet and there's a red shout. There's I can do about that one. So, And then Matt's going to throw another one at me. Thank you for that, Matt. We're down to second place. Owen goes past. They're down to third. I'm on lap two at the moment. Very long course and not a lot going on on this one. And we've got three green shells. Can I line up somebody here and hit them? That's a good shot, but just miss Matt. There's a blue pat on the screen. And that was a terrible blue pat. Look at that. I can see. What? That is a, that is the worst blue pat I've ever had. That was hardly anything. Throw the green shells forward. Did that Matt almost hit him again. Got three mushrooms. What can I do with these? Go across the grass somewhere. I'll keep them for the grass. And this over. If I got unblocked, he's going to come across. I knew he was going to do that, but there was not a lot I could have done to avoid it. And until lap two. I mean, lap three, shall I say. Lap three, not lap two. Don't want to do another lap of this one. A little bit boring. Of course, just a uh, figure out. I said, not like going on. And we've got matches ahead of me there. Got a green shell. Can I line it up? Or should I protect from red shells? I'm not sure. Get another item. Hopefully, it gets something good, but I completely miss the item. So I'll throw that forward. It bounced off the pipe, and I thought it was going to come back and hit me. Normally, that would have, but the green shell magnet must be turned off. And there's Owen behind me there. And go on, Owen. Go past one. Get a better item. Go on. Go on. There we go. Just you just went past. Hopefully I'll get something good now for that. A thunder cloud. Oh, that's just perfect. Give that to Owen, and he's going to try and give it back, and he does. I'm going to try and give it back, and I do. Give that, oh, take that Owen. Just avoid him there. He's got a fake item block, but that's not good. Oh, and then Luke hits me and runs into the fake item block, so that helps me. And second place, and there we go. He's looking pretty good at the moment. Matt's gone flying ahead in the league because of that now, and he's looks like he's got it sewn up. The win. Hopefully I can get second place and to continue my good start to this one. And oh, Owen with a star there. And I didn't see him come in. He just hit into me. Thank you for that, Owen. And that ruined my race. There we go. Last place. Nothing I could do. Absolutely not a single thing I could do there. And we lose 31 points. We're down already. 5509. That's not good. Uh, but we'll, we'll bounce back on that one. It's not too bad at this early stage in the 999. We'll move on. How many people will possibly in the next one? Possibly still four. Here we go. Okay, here we go. It is race number three of episode one in my custom mode 9999. And we're on codename Big Box, apparently. And here we go. We have a look at this one. There's a random floating blimp in the sky and the weird uh, racetrack, sort of checkered floor. Uh, well, not checkered, tiled floor. That's the one I was looking for. And we got a star. Okay, that was a star mushroom iron box there. That's a weird place to have one. And we're just going to fly across here. Don't want to risk going too far and getting stuck on the outside. So we just cut back in and take the lead. And we're uh, coming over this giant, massive brick thing in the middle of the track, and uh, Matt gives me a push there. And we, is this uh, uh, all item boxes? Uh, item boxes? Star mushrooms? Uh, nope, just that one set apparently. Okay, a weird one. There, see the big, big box side above the uh, finish line. Is that Luke? Actually, there after lap one. What's going on, Luke? Well, <laughs> that's a, that's a weird one. He's been absolutely destroyed in the first two. Although he did beat me last time because of Owen hitting me on the line, but we'll ignore that as we get another star across here, and then. Are uh, these iron block boxes the same? No, this is the, the normal one. We've got a blue shell though. Okay, that's pretty good. And give Owen a little whack there, a little revenge for the tree circuit. So take that, Owen. And we've got a blue shell on Matt as well. So hitting both of the people I know and taking the lead here as we come around the final corner and then down the last straight onto the final lap. And this one isn't too long because this is pretty good as well. If this was too long, it might be a bit uh, of a drag. But I think with a full game, this could be quite a good course, especially with the, this, these iron boxes here. It'll be a scramble for the item boxes with full people on the last lap, so that could be good. And then we've got a mushroom this time, so I can blast forward though and almost take the lead. And Matt, oh, give him a little bump and a star. So he almost could, he could have hit me there with that star, but just missed. And there's a blue shell chasing him, but he's got a star, so it won't hit him until his star's gone. And take that, Matt. And we take the lead. Oh, he's just behind me, then Matt behind him. Two blue shells get hit by. I wouldn't be happy if that was me, but that's okay. I don't mind if it's not. And Owen just behind me shouldn't be able to do anything about me though, as long as he doesn't get a mushroom or something. And he hasn't. And there we go. And a win after the uh, last place in tree circuit, so that could get me a few points back. And uh, uh, Matt didn't do very well there, so he's going to lose quite a few. 152 for him. I gained 74. That's 5583. That's a very good uh, race for me. Uh, not not a too bad of course. Uh, a weird one again. I suppose most of them will be weird, but a good course. And we'll move on. Six people in the next one. Here we go. Okay, here we go. It is the fourth race in my custom road to 9999. And we're on Fonda City. Another custom track. And we'll see how this one goes. And that, oh, that barrier just <laughs> went up there at the end. I wasn't expecting that. There we go. Uh, pretty nice looking track at the moment. And there's Owen ahead of me. And as I said, we'll probably get to the track almost every race because 128 to play with. So some. Exciting races to come, especially on harder tracks that I don't know. 
and this one is looking pretty weird. There's a flo uh, rotating side there, and just green shells. Look, they just keep. Um, um, whoa, where are we going on the road? What are we? What are we doing? What am I doing? I don't know. Oh, I guess I got a turn here. Yes, okay. All right, and it's, it looks like there's a turn down here. Apparently, yes. There we go. Man, this is a this is a weird looking race track. And then we're onto the the pier section. I'm just going to jump over here, miss the boost, but actually that might have helped me. I might have just gone flying off with a boost there. I'm very bumpy here, so we'll just get around this last corner. And we're doing pretty well at the moment. Doing pretty well for a course I've never tried. Let's get some tricks off here. And there we go, one lap done. And once I've done one lap, I sort of get the, the layout and I can do a lot better. Even though I didn't do too bad, to be honest, there. And this is what I, 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 I do like. Uh, hard tracks and custom tracks I think may be a little bit harder than normal tracks so this might be suited to me very well and we've got a fake item like now just put that down in a tricky place and we're absolutely flying ahead There's people having problems and doesn't seem that hard for me <laughs> but it, it's, it's if you can't if you got quick reactions and you make a mistake I guess you can lose a lot of time and we're avoiding cars just like that and just as I say that I'd make a mistake and people catch you right up so we just got to try and Avoid those cars. They're, they're in a tricky place. Those cars and three iron blocks there on the road. There we won't get a boost from this one. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna get a hit by a blue shell. So that will help that guy catch up in behind me. And it's rag with a, a angry looking face made of arrows and dots. <laughs> so rag there. And it's, it's, it's a three lettered name. He's trying to be the new Zav. As we got, have we finally got a Zav in here. We'll, we'll see you soon. See, uh, we'll soon see see how good he is. And we're coming on to final lap. And this Thunder City, oh, he's got a green shell and it almost, oh, and then he did run into me. But I, I did see a bit of grass over here, so I'm going to hold this uh, mushroom. You see, this is a shortcut. It doesn't look like an amazing shortcut, but we'll have a look. And it, it is sort of, but I don't think it's that good, actually. So, <laughs> might have been a bit of a waste. And Rag there going ahead of me. We've got a Funky Kong behind and another Funky Kong behind and a Luigi Moles behind. I'm not sure who that is. And we'll jump over here. And there's a power block just going to hit me as I land and then hit me into a car as well. And we just turned around. And that was a Tiller the Hun there. And that's Sphinx. Some of my me's here. You can <laughs> see the cars. And there's uh, avoid this, uh, uh, what do you call it, van. Yes, I couldn't think of that name there. And can we beat Rag? Come on, we need to beat Rag. He's stopping being the new Zav. He's got a long way to go. Jump over that banana skin. Turn the last corner. We can't catch Rag now. We're going to get second place by the looks of it. And there we go. It is, is how it's going to end. Second place. Still pretty good though. And I'm happy with that. And of course, I don't know. I did pretty well actually. I didn't make too many mistakes. And finished second place. Miles ahead of the competition. The guy in Luigi last place. I'm not sure who that is. Was Owen playing as Luigi? So is that Owen? Is he still in the game? Or is that Luke? Is, is Luke still in the game? And that him will have to... See. Well, so, I suppose we'll soon see. When we finish. As we wait now. And there we go. The noise finally happens. And we'll see how many points we've got. We got 100. It was Luke. Owen disconnected, obviously, there. So 100 points for me. That's a massive amount of points there. We've only six people in. Five, six, eight, three. We're moving up the rankings. We've got ahead of Owen as well, which is always good. And we'll move on to the next one. More six people in the next one. Here we go. And here we go. It is the fifth and final race of episode one in my Mario Kart Wii custom road to 9999. And we've moved from Thunder City to Punch City. So here we go. This looks a very bright and vibrant city uh, compared to the last one which is quite dark and dull and that van there almost hit me as I come around the corner so I'm going down this long straight this is what I said about the straight so we take the lead here we go as we come up and there's a big uh, dancing sign telling me to turn left so I will oblige as we come round now and what well what I've just fell in oh you have to turn before the oh okay okay everyone got caught up in that apart from rag so rag obviously knows the track a little bit better or does he where's he going Oh, uh, he's going over the grass. Uh, I'm not sure where he's going. So I thought he might have known the tracks. He, he managed to avoid that turn. That everyone just everyone just turned straight into the abyss. There, <laughs> there was no chance of knowing that. It didn't look like you could turn in, but and then it looked like you could turn in on the road, but I guess you couldn't. So there we go. That's lesson learned. Thankfully, everyone else made that mistake, so that was okay. Everyone, everyone must have been following me, hoping I know the way, but I don't. I've never done this course before, and it's actually a pretty good course. Actually, this is looks very good. For a custom track, very detailed as well, so uh, a very nice looking course, but again, long straight. So the bikes here, just I mean, imagine if you're in a car in this one, you would just be completely uh, destroyed down that straight, and then you've got another long straight the other side as well. <laughs> so you really need, did need to learn the bikes, and we're just uh, flying ahead at the moment. No one can touch me, got a power block which I'll just avoid with a shockwave move, and we're coming around onto the, the back straight now. And look at the gap we've got, this is absolutely lovely, and not the most uh, technical course in the world. Uh, two long straights, actually three long straights with 
very, very uh, minor corners and then one little bit through the park, which is a little bit more technical, but not by a whole amount. And that car almost hit me. Onto the final lap. A 47 second lap isn't too bad though, even though it's just long, long straight. So, and I mean long, look at this. This is long, long straight. We'll throw that green shell back. Hopefully we'll make a gap even bigger. And apart from a blue shell, there's not a lot anyone could do, but we do know blue shells have a tendency to come out of nowhere. So don't count your chickens before they've hatched as the saying goes we've just got a banana skin to protect and we might put that down just to make life a little bit tricky because there's plenty of walls and there's plenty of cars to block from red shells so don't really need to hold an item and we just wheelie down the straight the long back straight it's long straight after long straight this one a, a very detailed track but could have been a probably a bit better course layout but it's okay as long as we win we don't mind this end this episode one and an absolute lovely race amazing there we go we won. Um, my character got a little bit confused when we crossed the finish line. He tried to go for a swim, but he came back and realised he didn't take his swimming trunks. So, here we go. Just waiting for everyone to finish now. And, uh, finally, everyone does, do they? Yes, there we go. I hit the, heard the noise. And we gained 134 points. They're absolutely lovely. We're absolutely flying with the points now. We started on 5,500 on this episode. We're up to 5,817. So 300 points in one episode is not a bad total, I, m I must say. We'll move on in this session. But that's the end of this episode. Thank you for watching and goodbye. And the mushroom, and there's a, is that a bomb coming over there? And it is. It's ran straight and Cloudy's in, ran into it. And I'll finish. Whoa, what a throw that was. Who was it? I'm not sure. But it hit me.